A heated Facebook post is catching the attention of Indiana teachers statewide. This after State Superintendent Glenda Ritz took to the web to tell her followers her thoughts on the computer-based I-STEP exam. Now just last week, a computer crisis crippled that test. It left students sitting in front of blank screens, some even missing lunch. Educators in the Wabash Valley are taking note. News 10's Rondrell Moore is in the studio. In tonight's Education Watch 10, he finds out how school leaders feel the state should move forward. Rondrell? Mark Patrice, it's not an issue that's new. A bad perception of I-STEP, but with the latest issue surfacing, new faces are going on record. Check out this Facebook post. It talks about the money spent on I-STEP testing. It says, quote, as an educator, I assure you, your money has not been spent on education. Words that are very direct, calling into question the overall effectiveness of the test. You'll see plenty of comments like these on social sites, and you'll hear them from teachers. Vigo County's head feels the same. I think there are some forms of testing that are standardized that are good, but to the extent we're doing it in Indiana is, uh, is over the top. Superintendent Danny Tanous has for a long time called into question I-STEP testing. After last week, he's convinced something needs to change, but what? In your opinion, will I-STEP ever go away? Uh, no. Uh, not, I, it'll go away, but they'll replace it with something else. They would pretty much have to. By law, the goal of the exam is to assess the strengths and weaknesses of school performance. The thing is, somebody very high up agrees with Tanoose. In fact, remember this comment? It actually came from her, Glenda Ritz the superintendent of education in Indiana. She's been outspoken about I-STEP of late, saying she doesn't know if it's a good way to evaluate schools and teachers. She also says the money that goes toward I-STEP doesn't go toward actual education, saying, quote, millions of dollars simply to build infrastructure to support federal standards that are copyrighted and out of control of the local educators is not money spent on education. Now, Ritz's views come in stark contrast to those of her predecessor, Tony Bennett, he heavily supported the test. Voters for Ritz believe she'll work with government to dramatically change the test. Back to you. All right, thank you, Rondrell. Because of the issues with this year's exam, Ritz has brought in a third party to review the results. A